when we lost our firstborns on Jonathan, I immediately like felt like this like strong, strong desire to do anything I can and everything I can to make sure that he's not forgotten, that he knows he's loved, that he'll, he'll always be remembered and a part of our lives. Well, I thought what better way to um, get something for the family, knowing that we'll be in a new house. Um, I thought of the idea to actually make a stepping stone for Jonathan. Just so we could take him with us no matter where we go, this will actually be one of the first things that we put together in our new house. Just a way to remember him. The minute we get into our new home on the anniversary of him, I just want him playing a tree and watch him grow. I got my mold. We got some writing material so we could always put his birthday and his initials. I always want there to be light coming from Jonathan. So here's a solar powered light that we're gonna be able to put in the middle of the stepping stone along with Cross and yeah, so Christmas morning he are not supposed to exchange gifts, and my us. husband gives me all of this and expects me not to cry. So we pour it in there. Ooh, cement. Don't don't pour it all in there. I know how much. How many cups is this? That's like I don't know, three, I think. That's how good it. Let's take it over to the sun. It looks really good. Yeah. We love you, Jonathan. Always be in our hearts. We're gonna take this everywhere, no matter what. Every place we ever move, you'll always be with us. <laughs> and shining <laughs> in the front of our house. So it's nighttime now. We're gonna go go see Jonathan. See the light that's shining. Oh, that's amazing. There he is. I am getting married and I'm terrified because it's a stranger. <laughs> it's crazy. It's very real. Hey. I can't do it, I can't do it. Let's do this.